So here we are sitting down with a full-size blade in our hands. And it's very easy when you start off to be absolutely fascinated, if not slightly concerned about what's happening at the business end, which is the spoon end. And I, I totally get that. But the thing is, if you learn what you control, which is your hands on the handle, then the, the spoon will look after itself, okay? So when you do that, you know that the spoon's coming out of the water. So you don't need to check that it's coming out of the water. It's nice to appreciate that it works. And if things go wrong, you might have to look at the spoon occasionally, which would be a perfectly reasonable thing to do. But let's just focus on the handle because it's the hands and the arms and the body that is going to have to learn how to row. Okay. Now, for the time being, I want you to ignore what I'm doing with my body because we're just concerned about learning what the path of the handle needs to be, okay? So if we start here, which is sort of the end of the stroke, and I've finished a stroke here, I need to get the spoon out of the water. So I, to that, I do what they call tap down. I push down on the handle, probably as far as my thigh, okay? There's a side of the boat. It might sort of be quite close to the side of the boat. So down to there. Now, we want to keep the spoon out of the water during the entire slide forwards, which is called the recovery. So we need to keep the handle down there. It'd be quite nice if we kept it at the same height. So let's keep it nice and flat. So the handle, ignore my body, <laughs> the handle is just going to travel up here at the same sort of height until some point where we can't reach any further forwards comfortably in a sense that we don't want to be doing silly things. So at some point here, we've arrived at where we can reach and now we want to put the spoon back in the water. Now, most people, particularly those people who have sat on rowing machines, think that they need to lift the handle. You don't. It drops in naturally. Only gravity should be involved in what I call the placement. Yeah, so the spoon going back into the water, the placement, is just a question of taking the weight of your arms off the handle. And it should be done from the shoulder, but we'll come back onto that. So you place the blade into the water there. It floats at the right height, which is pretty cool. And then from here, it's going to come back absolutely flat. Absolutely flat. Why does it come back absolutely flat? I'll tell you why. Because, as I said, the, the spoon floats at the correct height. Now, if you were in a boat rather than in a tank, when you start the stroke, it's the boat that moves, not the spoon. And if you imagine that you were sort of on ice and you were to sort of get an ice pick and put it into the ice like that and then leave yourself past your ice pick, cue cutaway, you'll find that in fact it's the boat that moves and not the spoon. So as a consequence of that, this handle, that the spoon is going to sit passively at the surface and this handle is just going to lever it in a nice flat line like that. Because if we lift up the handle like this, all that's going to happen is the spoon's going to dip down, slip and then come back up again. So that's the path of the handle, okay? We start by tapping down, ignore my body, I'll just look at the handle, slides forwards, comes to a point here, looks for the level that it needs to be to place in the water, then the spoon is gonna stay stationary in a boat. Obviously in a tank, I have to pull it through the water. And it's gonna be absolutely flat, coming back here until we finish the stroke here, okay? Now at this end here, we have this extraction process, which in a tank can be reasonably vertical, okay? We stop, we pull out. But in a boat, when we stop pulling, which is what we're doing here, we're actually pulling on the handle, the handle will continue to move because the boat's moving past the spoon. So we can't pull the handle all the way to here and then try and get out because the water will push the handle into our body. So at some point before we get there, we have to stop pulling and then do this little sort of semicircle this little sort of round the turn here. I call it like painting down your body, down your thigh, and then off you go again. So path of the handle, job done. Okay?